my name is Mira Hoffman, and this is part three of our video series for yoga for back pain. In this video, we'll be focusing on some great techniques to help with shoulder and neck pain, focusing more on the upper back this time. And we have a fun little giveaway today from Sunshine Pillows. This awesome little ergonomic pillow, so if you travel a lot or um, you know, you're on the airplane or in the car and you need to take a little nap, but you don't want your neck just totally cranked to one side. That's a great little pillow. So check out the details below for how to enter that contest and sign up for our newsletter. So we're going to begin just with some really gentle stretches for your arms and to help open up the shoulders. I know a lot of us sit at the computer desk quite a bit. So I'm going to start by just bringing my right arm across my chest, straight across. I'm going to use my left arm to help stabilize. Some people like to cusp or clasp the arm, um, you know, just at the elbow joint of the opposite arm. So whatever feels good, if you want to hold it. I'm really just focusing on breathing and opening up the back of the shoulder blades so in between the spine and that juncture. It just feels really nice to get a nice stretch here. And after holding for a couple breaths, we're going to release the arm and switch directions. And I always encourage you with any yoga move, a few things to remember as focusing on your breath is really such a wonderful treat to help relax and tune yourself into the move. And then, of course, if anything does not feel comfortable or good to your body, don't do it. Um, we're here to help you, but you have to also help yourself by listening and tuning in and not doing anything that's going to push yourself too far. And we're going to exhale, releasing the arm. Inhale, I'm going to lift the right arm all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, folding those fingertips down. Now you can see my elbows really up in the sky here. And I'm going to bring my opposite arm up to that elbow just to help extend that stretch a little bit more deeply, opening up the shoulders and take a few deep breaths here. And really focusing on releasing any tension into your arms and your shoulders. And we'll inhale both arms up and then I'm gonna exhale, switch hands so this time the left fingers curl downwards, the right hand comes to the left elbow, getting a nice stretch and opening here. So when we're at the desk or at the computer, just all these muscles in our neck and shoulders tend to get tight just from chronic overuse and sitting in that position for so long. And we'll inhale both arms up, exhale down. We'll toss on just a few shoulder rolls because they feel nice and yummy. So you can place your hands on your knees and we'll inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, rolling them back and down. You may notice some kind of crunchy, poppy noises. As long as it feels good, keep on doing it. If it doesn't feel as good, maybe don't make as dramatic of circles with your shoulders. So the inhale is bringing them up. And with the exhale, you're kind of rolling them back and down. So you can see I'm starting to open up my chest here with this movement. And exhale down. And so now we'll just slowly begin to make our way down onto the mat. We'll begin by laying face up. We're going to come into Matsyasana Fish Pose. So begin by drawing the legs together and then we're going to rock from one side to the other. Tucking the hands, palms facing down underneath the body. So my hands are flat against the ground. I'm really trying to bring my elbows in together and then also walk my fingertips down towards the toes. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale and sit up to look at your toes. So you can see that my base is now on my forearms. And as you exhale, you're gonna slowly look back behind you and you can rock down just a little bit so the top of your head comes to touch the floor. Not a lot of weight on your head here, less than 20%. So really it's just kind of like an energetic touch. As you sit here, taking some nice deep inhalations, really bringing oxygen and vitality into the lungs, expanding the ribs. And as you exhale, letting go of any tension, 
getting a nice bright opening to the chest you can work on squeezing the shoulders back behind you and just bringing your awareness onto the breath When you're ready, inhale, curling the chin in, exhale, rolling down and untucking the arms. And we'll just take a couple breaths in Shavasana so you can really enjoy and reflect on the sensations from Matsyasana fish pose. It's a really nice heart opener and helps correct rounded shoulders. So if you sit at a desk a lot, this is gonna be a really wonderful pose for you. Slowly coming back into the room. We'll turn over to work on Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. So we'll begin just with basic Cobra. So you can bring your chin onto the ground and you're gonna tuck the hands underneath the shoulder blades. The fingertips are facing forward, bringing the elbows back, bringing the shoulders kind of up and down. We'll inhale, pressing our bodies up, but you don't want to use a lot of weight into the hands. So really this movement is coming from me contracting my spinal muscles to pull my back up. And then I'm going to extend that movement by looking up as well. So just like a cobra, how it holds its body and its head up high, getting a nice chest opener here. Again, staying with your deep breaths. And when you're ready, we'll exhale down. And you can turn your head to one side and make a little pillow. And just let the full length of the spine relax. So letting the low back relax, letting the mid back relax, letting the upper back relax. We're gonna come into Cobra two more times each time doing a little bit different of a variation. So when you're ready, bringing the chin back to the ground, the hands underneath the shoulder blades, and then you can see I'm kind of bringing the legs together too to help create stability and support. I'm gonna inhale up again, just like we did the first time. But this time I'm gonna use my hands to push just a little bit more. So now I'm really getting a nice bigger opening throughout the length of my spine. You can see the elbows are still down and tucked. Shoulder blade is down and tucked. Looking up. And exhaling down, we'll make a pillow on the opposite side. So turning your cheek to the other direction. Letting the legs relax, letting your back relax. Breathing into your abdomen. Letting the whole spine have a little bit of a rest before we move on. And then, then coming back to our center starting point again. This time we're going to bring the legs together, engaging the low back. But instead of putting the hands here underneath the shoulders, we're going to interlace the fingers behind our back. Now, if you can't reach your hands, go back to our first cobra. If you can reach your hands, we're gonna inhale and bring the hands together, really trying to work the hands down towards the feet, engaging all the muscles of the back to help lift the upper body. Taking some nice deep breaths here. You can experiment. Does it feel better to raise the hands up a little bit further? How does that change the stretch and move for you? One more deep breath here. And exhale, rolling down. So that concludes our third video, focusing more on neck and upper back pain. Make sure that you subscribe to the Psyche Truth YouTube channel so you can be in the know when we post the future videos. 
Again, my name is Mira Hoffman, and you can find out more about me and my practice at mirahoffman.com. Thank you.